All right, welcome. The title speaks for itself. I've done my research and have compiled the top 50 most jacked fullbacks to ever play in the NFL. I'll be releasing these in fives, and today we're going to look at 50 through 46. I've also put together highlights for each of these players based on what's out there. Um, so get ready for thick necks, big blocks, and some of the footballiest football players you've ever seen. Let's get started. All right, at number 50, we have Corey Schlesinger. Take a look at that neck. This guy played for 12 years, all with Detroit, and his nickname was Anvil Head due to his savage blocking style. He won a national championship with Nebraska in 95 and was a two-time state champ wrestler, which is no surprise with that neck. And if you can believe this, he used to spend his off-seasons doing substitute teaching. Can you imagine someone doing that today? I can't. Um, he's been a high school teacher for over 15 years. He got right into that after retiring from the NFL. Um, and he seems like a very humble guy from what I can see. Look at this guy. I mean, look at the half cage, the the neck pads going halfway up his head. Uh, the hulking biceps just looks absolutely ferocious. I'm sure he uses this glare on his students. Um, I mean, he, he looks like a movie depiction of a football player. He doesn't even look real. The eye black. I mean, just phenomenal stuff. Um, but anyways, let's get into some highlights. I thought it was going to be more hands-on type stuff because I was a hands-on person, especially in high school, and not only in high school, outside of school. And at 49, we have Tim Tyndale, the Canadian Flash. Played for Buffalo for three years in the 90s. Unfortunately, his career was cut short by injuries. He's a bit of a Canadian football legend. He won what is the equivalent of the Heisman in back-to-back -back years. And he's in the Canadian Football Hall of Fame. Uh, just thick, stout guy. Look at those arms. Um, and how about the neck? Once again, how about the neck? Uh, fun fact, the Mr. Incredible character from The Incredibles, his uh, character model was actually based on Tim Tyndale. I didn't know that until um, researching him a little bit. Uh, and check out, I mean, just the juicy arms. His, he his head alone is just jacked. I don't even know how that's possible, um, but absolute stud. Uh, let's get into some highlights.
48, we have Madison Hedgecock, enormous guy, 6'3", 265. He played defensive end in college for a couple years. Um, played in the NFL for six years, two with the St. Louis Rams, four with the Giants, where he won a Super Bowl that year. They beat the undefeated Patriots. Um, apparently in college, he benched 440, squatted 630, and power cleaned 385, which all were records at the University of North Carolina for fullbacks. So super strong guy, not surprising with how huge he is. And as you're about to find out, he's a farm boy as well. It's like, have you ever mowed your yard? Oh, so you're a farmer. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about if you mowed your yard and had that feeling. I saw a bear the other day. If you like doing that, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't like doing that, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Eight squash and corn. Give me tomato sandwich. Next up at 47 is Anthony Sherman, also known as Sausage and Shermanator. 5'10", 240, that's a lot of mass. He played for 10 years, two with Arizona, the rest with Kansas City, where he won a Super Bowl a few years back when they beat the 49ers and made the Pro Bowl in 2018. No idea what country he's from. As you see him here rocking the overalls. It looks like he has some protein cookies in that plastic bag there. Uh, just big guy, thick all over, and has maybe the most important trait for a fullback, and that is a thick neck. <laughs> Sherman lacks ideal height. He's short-armed, and he tends to grab. He isn't explosive, and he doesn't show hip stab driving through blocks. explosive and he doesn't show hip stab driving through blocks. When he first came in as a freshman, he had a man's body. And protein? Not a whole lot. All righty, last one for today. Number 46 is Damon Shelton. Six foot 260. That's huge. As you can tell in this photo, his hulking arms. Played for Jacksonville for four years, Buffalo for three, and two for Chicago. He had a very unconventional journey to the NFL. 
He sat out a full year after finishing high school, didn't play football, just basically helped out at home and eventually found his way to a junior college before making it to Sacramento State, a Division I AA school, where he started running back. Um, He went through a lot of hardship in his life before making it to the NFL. Um, It's very inspirational, and he ended up putting together a very respectable nine-year NFL career. My road to Sac State was a quite tedious one. Uh, I'm out of high school. I actually took a year off. Um, I really didn't want to play football anymore. Uh, decided to get a job and help out at home. Uh, I lost my mom in April of 94. And, uh, you know, shortly after that, you know, my, my father passed in December of the same year. I stopped going to school. Uh, you know, I really didn't, you know, have much uh, care for, for life, you know, itself. I, I just stopped, you know, one day and then prayed. I got on my knees and prayed, you know, give me peace. I uh, knew that, you know, if my parents were looking down on me, that they wouldn't be, you know, pleased at the way I was uh, going about, you know, life at that point. And, uh, you know, God gave me peace in my heart and he let me know that, you know, they were in a better place. You know, after that, everything was uh, just just positive. Coming out of uh, a one double A, having played only one year, the odds were definitely against me. After I got drafted as a fullback, it really didn't matter then because I felt like I'm, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show and prove, you know? I'm going to make this team. Back then, I'd have never thought that, you know, I'd be where I am today. Uh, it's definitely a blessing, man. And, you know, I um, don't take it for granted at all. At all. <laughs>